Hey everyone, um, here I am with super simple number six. I got this one done in a hurry because I was inspired by something and I just wanted to get it in and get it done before I forgot. So it came really quick. So here is super simple number six. This is the finished product and this is how it would go in a journal page. I just have a sample page here just to show you. Um, you would just glue that in when you're done. And then this is what it looks like. The front of it has a collage. That's all you do. I thought that would be fun to just have a page that's just pretty. And then you're like, Ooh, what's, what's hiding? <laughs> that's the fun part, right? What's hiding? Um, so when you open this up, it's a little flip up and there's a pocket up top. Let me get that where you can see it a little better. So there's a little pocket up top and just easy. And then here's another little flip and each of these have little tags and they're cute on the backs. So, and this one says, tell your story. There's other options for, with other words if you wanted to put something else. But anyway, um, and then that one flips open and you have another little collage. You can do whatever you want. And then this tag with just some journaling space on the back. And then you have your extra journaling space right here. That that's the piece, the main back piece that you're then just gonna glue into your journal. So anyway, that's what we're going to be making. So let's get going. All right, first of all, here is the base. We'll just set that off to the side because that's all. All I did is I cut out the pieces and I inked them. Every single one I did was done on cardstock. Just kind of a lighter weight cardstock, a medium to lightweight cardstock. I printed every paper on the same cardstock this time. Okay, so let's start with this little flap and it's gonna be over on this side. So you wanna make sure to have this little, here, I'll show you what it looks like whole. That's what it looks like whole. And you wanna make sure that this piece here is gonna be able to connect right there and you'll be gluing that in. Now you'll notice on this sample, I've sewn a lot. You can or you don't have to. Always for the sake of the video, I'm not gonna be sewing because it just takes too much time. But if you are sewing things on, lay it out how it's gonna be, the final thing or whatever it is you're doing, and then think about if you wanna sew it. If you wanna sew it, sew it before you glue that piece back because that way it'll hide the seams on the other side if you're sewing because on this one I sewed here and then I measured and did the three little slots let me show you here it is all right so if you can see that up close I sewed up here and then they did the three little spaces for these to get tucked into when you sew them they make really nice tight tight, tight little pockets. So it's actually really nice to sew that one. But again, I sewed it before I went ahead and glued the other piece back to the back. So let's do that. And I figured I'd just use this to help me line up where I'm gonna glue. Um, because it's gonna be kind of a precise little area that I need to glue. So, I'm gonna just bring my piece over to my sample. You can measure it, it's almost exactly two inches apart for each little space. So that's if you want the measurement, but I'm going to put a tiny bead of glue there and then along that line and along that line, just to line up with the ones that are already sewn and that one. And then I put it, I don't know, it's probably three quarters of an inch away from this edge right here. So I left about three quarters of an inch right here. Just gonna glue that down. Don't wanna squish it too hard because I don't want the glue to spread out too much. And if for any reason they don't line up perfect, you can trim or adjust whatever you need. All right, let's put, while we're waiting for that to dry, let's go ahead and put on our cute little circles. If I can get my glue open. 
Here we go. All right. So it doesn't matter. I just made these circles so it would have a fun little background, just some interest to it. And you can put them right side up or upside down, whatever you want. But there's three of them. And then you can pick the words you want on it. I really like the tell your story. Um, but there's, let's see, there's a one, two, three, or there's... Oh, I can't remember the other one. Just some options. And you can tell I'm just eyeballing it, but no big deal. So when you put on your words, you can center them or do something fun, angle them, whatever you want. Tell your story. Everybody has a story, right? we go all right now we need to make the tags for this one um so really easy on the sample I glued them on this one I'm not or on this one I sewed on this one I'm just going to glue it right down let me get so you can see what I'm doing there we go um and then I have these little tabs and if you wanted you could put it in between so it, you don't see it, you could put it on the back, you could put it either side of it, whatever works for you. You could even um, just do it on one side. Let me show you an example. You could even do it like this, so that when you pull that out, you can actually open it and have even more journaling space between. So really it's, you know, there's no hard and fast rules you can make it yours and I love to see on your pictures you send me I love to see it when you guys come up with some ways of doing things with my little kits that I never would have thought of so I think that's really fun super rewarding for me and it makes me better too because I start to think in different ways that I wouldn't have before so so thank you I love when you guys send me stuff All right, let's make that one number two. It doesn't matter which one you use for which pocket. You could even make it a totally different style of pocket if you wanted. <laughs> Trying to center these the best I can. I like sewing these because I like to just make like messy stitching, just back and forth, really random right through there. Um, I think it just adds something so fun dimensionally when you're looking through a junk journal to see like just messy stitching I love it but some people like to do it nice and straight and that's great too whatever works all right here we go I'm really trying to get those little corners they always seem to be the thing that wants to pop up all right and there's our third one. So that's probably the most involved page of this whole thing. On the flip side of this, so once we open it, you're going to have this cute little pocket. And don't worry, that was just a hole punch cut. You don't have to find a way to fussy cut that because that would be a nightmare. So, um, yeah, I just use my little hole punch and they're called border punches i've had questions about that before you can usually just search them and you'll find them on the internet different border punches and i've liked every one i've ever bought so now you'll notice on this that the pocket is smaller than the page and that's on purpose i just really wanted to be able to kind of sense that it's on another page um, for this one, that was just kind of what I was feeling, so I went with it. All right, now we have our cute little girl. We're going to go ahead and put her on her tag. Um, I did make a little ticket tab that you can use for the tag on this. I would caution you, oh, got to get her centered, 
Um, not to do anything too bulky on this piece because when you fold it, it's right there. If you put anything bulky on the top of that tag, it's really going to affect that one's ability to close. So really do something really nice and light at the top of this tag to avoid any <laughs> problems when you go to close your cute little journal. All right. There is the main part of that tag. And let's see. Oh, I found this word. I was looking for that earlier. That's funny. Um, you can do any word you want. I think I put free on her. Yep. Oh, it's coming. I promise. So this is the one I used on the top. Um, just like a little ticket. It comes like this in the kit and then I just folded it and inked it and cut everything out and now I'm gonna put it hopefully oh I want to do it upside down because I like to see those cute numbers so I'm gonna do it upside down there we go and a little word for her doesn't that look free just out in the garden smelling the flowers <laughs> It looks free to me. We're finally getting our gardens in around here. It just kept freezing late in the year, so we're a little behind, but my husband got it planted. He's the gardener in the family. <laughs> and that's okay by me. All right. Um, you could do some other things, add some extra lace or something behind this. Again, just I caution you on the bulk with these little folds but for this one I just did this cute little fussy cut flower and let's see anchored let's do anchored sure on this other one we did unstoppable but there's several words you can kind of mix and match and pick the ones you want to use so there we go all right hopefully that just about does it Okay, and that will go right here. So we can go ahead and glue that one in right now. Um, I think I've got everything in it that I needed. Oh, let's go ahead and glue this side down though. Cause I mean, you could make this, leave it open somehow and do another little pocket in between these two layers. But mostly I just did it this way cause I wanted to have some, I wanted it to be cute on both sides. So that's why I've done it that way, but you can do it however you want. So I'm gonna use some heavy duty glue just because these are heavy. I'm gonna bring this pretty close here to the bottom. All right, step one through 17, done. Just kidding, I don't know how many steps we have. <laughs> All right, so we've got that part done. Let's go ahead and move to this part. All right, so set it all up. I always think it's nice if you kind of lay it out first so you know that you're gluing it in the correct spot. So this is how this one's gonna go with this flap being glued down to the back of this one. So now you kind of know. Um, so that's how it will be when it's opened. Now, the first thing we have is a little pocket. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and punch it out right up at the tippy top, just a little bit. Just like that. I forgot to do that before, but maybe it's good to see. It's just a little hole punch and you just take out a little chunk. So however you want. You could even do it on the side. It doesn't have to be right there, centered. Mine probably actually isn't because I didn't really measure. <laughs> That's okay. This is not going anywhere because that is enough fabric tack. <laughs> oh, that ought to do it. That's what I'm trying to say. All right, so this is gonna come right here. And that one kind of lines right up with the edges there. 
Let's try not to squish the glue out. Let's do a word here. And you could do some more collaging or some more fussy cuts, whatever you want through there. Um, lace, I don't know. Whatever your heart desires. I just kept it simple. Now these are just some journal cards, just some little extras. You could put some other things that you might have in there or whatever. Um, and you could hole punch them, but again, just watch the bulk. So I'd probably use like a paper tab or something like that. But these are all just to go right in here, however you like, just fun. Um, oh, I put that, well, I guess there is no upside down, but okay. So that piece is done. And again, remember if you're sewing like this pocket, if you're gonna sew it on, Sew it before you glue that piece to the back. Just sew that one right on. Any sewing that you do, do it before you glue the layers together because you don't want the stitching to go through. And it's kind of a neat little trick because then you can hide the stitching, even though it kind of looks like just one page. So kind of fancy. All right, and this flip will flip down like this when it's closed. So that'll help you orient your, here's the sample. That'll help you orient where you collage. Now you can do any collage you want. You could tear these edges and that would look super good with this um, as well with this kind of shabby, shabby chic style. I can't talk. Um, so whatever you want, you could center it, you could tilt it, you could um, make it ski wampus. Now I actually sewed these not onto the backing. I actually just stitch around the edges and then I still end up just gluing everything on. Um, but you could, you could sew it right on. So just so you know, like there's options. And I am layering this this way because last time I did it upside down because I didn't check where my flap was. So, and another thought is you could have your pocket up on this side and it's a, a bottom down pocket where you pull it out. So, you know, you get to decide, whatever. All right, I'm gonna go ahead with my lace and I really, really loved, I, I cut my lace long and then I was like, oh, I really love how that's just sticking out over the edge because that would just be fun in a journal. So I'm actually not going to trim much. I guess I could trim a little because that's kind of a lot, but I think it's just, it's just fun for this. It fits the style. So, and you can do it how you want. Now with my little butterfly, I actually kind of bent the wings up. You don't have to, you could just glue it down, but I thought it would be kind of fun to have just a little bit of dimension to it. So I actually just bent it up and decided to kind of leave it just popped up a little bit. So when your journal opens, you know, it'll just have a little bit of a pop to it. Not a lot, but I thought, I thought that'd be fun. Um, and we could glue our little word on. And let's say this time we want it down here. Why not? There we go. Okay, that's super fun. So there we go, we have all the pieces put together and just ready. Oh, we forgot to glue this guy. Now we have all the pieces put together and ready. Um, and then all that's left is to glue those tabs down onto the main page. Cute, cute. So here's our main page and we glued that first one down. This is the second one. Just gonna give it a little glue. I don't want the edges popping up. So I come close to the edge and don't worry so much about getting in there as much. I don't worry about getting close to the fold, but I try to get up close to these so they stay down really well on the paper. Now this one is centered on there. Put it there, let it sit for just a minute while it dries. Um, and then you can kind of see that even just making these just side by side, there's some fun little differences, um, different amounts of inking, different orientation, and you could do a lot more if you wanted. But um, we have our final product now. So you have this little guy that you'll see when you open the journal and this little flap that comes up and there's some journaling in here. 
and it's a pretty tight pocket and pretty heavy so I'm not really worried about these let me show you I'm not really worried about these falling out when the book is closed or anything because it's pretty tough it's pretty snug in there um, and then here you have the three little pullouts and then you flip that open, journaling, cute card. You could put some pictures. This would be a really fun spot for some black and white pictures in here or whatnot. So anyway, there it is. Your instructions for super simple number six. Um, I've been having lots of fun with these. I hope you guys have too. I'm going to keep going. I'm still determined to get through 10 of them. And um, I've been having lot, lots of fun. So... Anyway, thank you so much for watching, and I hope your life is just going great. We'll talk to you later. Bye.